Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to look at frog method subtraction, which is another method of uh, subtracting that is part of the Abacus Maths program. Okay, so what we do is we um, use frog method as um, subtracting using counting up. So this is a little bit of a different method, one of my favourites, because we are showing the children how um, you can subtract by counting up. So you're actually doing the opposite, you're adding the final answer together. Um, I'm going to show you an example and I think you'll be able to understand better what I'm explaining. Okay, so we're going to pop the question on the screen and then I'm going to show you how we explain it to the children, um, to our students, how we do the, the frog method jumps. Okay, so the frog is jumping and counting up. So that's basically what the whole idea is to teach this method for subtraction. So here's the question. The question is uh, 53 subtract 21. Okay, so let me show you how we do this. Where do we start? We put the smaller number at the beginning of the frog line. Okay, so we have the line drawn. Sometimes it's drawn for the students, sometimes we draw it, sometimes as the, well, as the students get older they draw it themselves because they know how to do this method. So we take the smaller number and we place it at the beginning of the line. Okay, then we take the larger number and we pop that at the end because we are counting up. So the 53 goes here at the end of the line. Okay, now what do we do first? We explain to our students that we want them to jump to the nearest multiple of 10, okay? So these are our happy numbers because they're easy when we are adding and subtracting. So what do we do? We jump, the frog jumps from 21 to the nearest multiple of 10, which is of course 30. So our frog jumps to 30. We pop the 30 here, okay? And then we pop add the number that we've gone from the 21 to the 30, the number that we have added, we pop it in the, in the frog loop, in the jump, okay? So we've gone from 21 to 30, what's next? We jump to the next multiple of 10 to make it nice and easy for the students, okay? So here we go, we jump again and we jump another 10. So the next multiple of 10, nice and easy, we've got 40 here and we add 10. Okay, so we've now got the 9 from 21 to 30 and the 10 from 30 to 40. Now, as our students become more confident with this, they might want to jump 20 at this point and go from 30 straight to 50. However, let's do another jump and we can add another 10. And then the final jump will be the plus 3. Okay, so let's recap on what we've done before we come up with our final answer. We have taken the smaller number and the larger number at the beginning and the end of the line. We have added 9 here to go from 21 to 30. We've jumped another 10 to get to 40. Then we've jumped another 10 to 50 and our 3 at the end there to get to 53. So, the final part of this, the final step, this final part of this frog method subtraction is to add up the, the answer, okay? So you get your final answer. So we add the 10 and the 10. We advise the children to take the bigger number first, 20. 29, add the 3, okay? So we can write that out if the children want to. So we can do 10, 10, 9 and 3. And we can add it all up like that, okay? So 9 and 3 is 12, and then the 3 here, okay? So what's our final answer? 53 take away 21 is 32, okay? So this is frog method subtraction using the line, uh, counting up to receive our final answer of 32. Thank you.